Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Beth. I am a 36 year old attorney living in the DC area with my husband. And for today's video, I am doing another round of a series that I filmed last fall. Uh, and that is going to be demoing the products that I already have that are going to be half off during the Ulta 21 Days of Beauty. Uh, so last year I did three separate videos, one for each week of the sale, and I'll be doing the same for this spring 2022 sale as well. Uh, so this will be week one, and you can expect to see weeks two and three in your subscription feed a few days before those weeks of sales start. Uh, so make sure that you are subscribed and hit that notification bell so you'll be notified. But I guess I should say a little bit about what the Ulta 21 Days of Beauty sale is before I jump into the demo. So I did just apply all the products I have to my face, uh, so you'll see that in a few minutes. And if you just want to jump to that because you already know what the Ulta 21 Days of Beauty is, uh, I'll include a timestamp down below. As the name would suggest, the Ulta 21 Days of Beauty is a sale that lasts 21 days, so three weeks, and every day there are different products that are on sale for 50% off. Uh, so the first week of the sale will begin this Sunday, March 13th, which hopefully is either the day after or the day of this video going live. Uh, so the first week is May 13th through the 19th, the second week starts on May 20th, and then the third week starts on May 27th. And of course that leads us right into the Sephora sale starting on April 1st. So uh, tis the season of sales. So a couple things to note, like I said, each day has different items that are on sale. So you only have that day to purchase that item at the sale price. And if it's a very popular item, it might sell out. So just be aware of that. Uh, some items will be available in store and you can use their buy online, pick up in store feature, or just go in and purchase directly. Uh, but some items will be online only or app only. Uh, so I'll include a link to the website down below so you can uh, peruse it at your leisure. Uh, but just note that not everything that will be on sale online will also be available in the stores. Uh, if you are a diamond or a platinum member, which are tiers of the Ulta reward system, uh, you get free shipping with any beauty steel purchase. So uh, you don't have to worry about spending I don't know what is free shipping, 25 or 35. Uh, you can just purchase that one item at the discounted price and it will ship for free, which is really nice. And one thing I also wanted to recommend is uh, if you go to the app, for example, or the website, uh, you can scroll through and you'll see the pictures of all the items. But uh, if you actually you know, select a day, for example, I just looked at March 17th, uh, you can see a little bit more information. So it will say, uh, whether it's a first time steal, so it hasn't appeared in an Ulta 21 Days of Beauty sale before, uh, it'll show the regular price, the discounted price, the star rating, and uh, it also has options to add it to your calendar. So it's helpful to kind of keep track of what days you plan on shopping. And also if you click on like shop now for, I'm looking at the Tarte Maracuja uh, Juicy Lip Balm, which is an item I plan on shopping this year. You can see all the different shades that are available. Sometimes the sale is limited to a particular variation of a product. Like for example, the Mac Fix Plus is only, I think the original scent. So it's good to know just kind of going in uh, and you'll also be able to see if something is online only. Uh, and there are some categories like they have 50% off Conscious Beauty uh, and they have like three products there um, in the thumbnail. Um, but if you actually click shop now, it'll show you specifically um, what those products are. Um, so you just get a little bit more information that way and you can plan, I think, a little bit better. Okay, so before I tell you what I plan on purchasing during the sale for this first week, I thought I would just quickly go over um, some of the skincare products that are on sale. So I thought I would just quickly say a little bit about kind of some of the moisturizing products that are going to be on sale because I think moisturizers are one category where it doesn't take a long time to form an opinion. It's not like a serum where you need to kind of wait to see results. You kind of know within a day or so whether it's actually moisturizing, whether it feels good on the skin, that kind of thing. Uh, so the first item I wanted to talk about is going to be on sale on Monday. And that is the Peach and Lily Matcha Pudding Antioxidant Cream. So I just have this little sample here and they call it a matcha cream. Um, so it is actually a green color. 
you can see that. And personally, I did not enjoy this product. It has a very strong, like essential oil type smell. Uh, that's another reason why it's helpful to be able to see what's on sale in advance because it will give you a chance to look at ingredients and figure out if there's anything that would be um, potentially irritating to you. Uh, I do like some Peach and Lily products and I do actually plan to pick up a different Peach and Lily product, uh, but this one was not a favorite. So uh, it does also have niacinamide, so just be aware if you are um, sensitive to that ingredient, um, which some people are to varying degrees. Uh, but just to give you a sense, uh, so it has rosewood uh, wood oil, bergamot fruit oil, orange peel oil, clary oil, thyme leaf oil. So yeah, at first I thought it might actually have arnica in it because I thought it maybe had a bit of that smell, but I didn't see any arnica. Um, but anyway, if you are sensitive to any like essential oil type ingredients, just make sure to look at that um, ingredient deck. Uh, before you purchase. Um, so some other moisturizers that are on sale, uh, there are two that are actually kind of nice. Um, this is the Elemis Pro Collagen Marine Cream, uh, and this has a hefty price tag of $89 for one ounce. Um, on sale it will be, is it actually one ounce? That's crazy. Yeah. So this half an ounce size I have is technically worth like $45. That's crazy. Uh, so yeah, so this will be on sale for $44.50. So if you are a hardcore fan of this product, it would be a good time um, to pick it up. It's definitely more of an emollient um, moisturizer. Um, felt really nice on the skin. I should mention I have dry skin. So it was nice enough, this little sample that I have, but I can't imagine spending even $44 on it. So. Uh, I'll probably skip on that. Uh, so on Friday, March 18th, the It Cosmetics Confidence in a Cream Anti-Aging Moisturizer, uh, that is the two ounce size, so twice um, the volume of the Elemis. And normally that retails for $49.50 and that will be on sale for $24.75. Uh, so this is another product I've gotten a lot of samples of over the years. Um, again, it felt nice and emollient on the skin. Uh, I do have dry skin, so I thought it was nice, but I don't think I'm hurting for moisturizer anytime soon, so I probably will not be picking that up. Also have a lot of samples of it, like I mentioned. Uh, and then the last product is the good old Clinique Dramatically Different Moisturizing Lotion. If you are a huge fan of Clinique skincare, um, this is lighter than the um, Elemis and the um, it Cosmetics. So from my thumb, we have the Peach and Lily Matcha, then the Elemis, then the It Cosmetics, and then underneath we have the Clinique. And hopefully you can see it's a little bit less um, emollient in texture. So I thought I would just kind of quickly give you that crash course in some of the ingredients, textures, that kind of thing. But let me know if you have any questions, I will do my best um, to answer. Uh, and then the last skincare product I wanted to mention is on sale on Tuesday, March 15th. And this is the Cause RX Mucin Power Essence. Uh, so I just have this little one ounce sample basically, uh, but the full size is 3.38 ounces, normally retails for $25. Uh, so it should be $12.50. I know a lot of people really love that product. Uh, I think Terra Babies here on YouTube really likes it. Uh, I purchased this little kind of sample size a while ago um, just because I wanted to try it. I guess I try to limit the number of like unused products that I have just laying around. I'm glad I got the sample um, because I am just not a huge fan of the texture of this, to be honest. It's just a little bit, do you see that? It's a little bit goopy for me. You know, if if it was a little bit more just like an essence or something, I could probably get past the idea that it's like snail slime, basically. But but yeah, I just, I don't know. I didn't love the texture. And I, I like I said, I have very dry skin, kind of eczema prone. 
so I just, I just didn't like the way it felt is basically the bottom line for that. So uh, if you do happen to love that product or if you just wanted to try it out for yourself, maybe you wouldn't be kind of turned off by the, the texture, then go for it. Okay, so what I plan to pick up here. So looking at Monday, March 14th again, that is when the Peach and Lily Matcha Cream will be on sale, which I'm not picking up. Uh, but there is the Transparency Pro Spot Treatment. Uh, that is normally $43, so it'll be $21.50. And I have the Peach and Lily Glass Skin Serum, I think it's called, that I think I also got during the Ulta 21 Days of Beauty at one point. Uh, and I've been enjoying that, I'm really liking it. So I just saw Mr. Khan's mom, Melanie, here on YouTube talk about the um, Transparency Pro Spot Treatment, and she thought it was really great. She even um, either <laughs> used it on her 10 year old daughter or let her 10 year old daughter uh, use it, one of those. Um, and she said it was really good for like fading, like acne, hyperpigmentation, that kind of thing. And I think my husband could benefit from that. I asked him if he'd be interested in using it. Um, he's not, he has a different skin type than I do, first of all, but he's not great about using sunscreen and that kind of thing. So, We'll see. I might I might get that for him just to kind of see if it if it helps or whatever, but we'll see. Uh, so that's one item I think I'll pick up. And then moving on to Wednesday, March 16th, there's a product in the Conscious Beauty category. Um, it's called Live Tinted. It's the Hue Stick Corrector. And I think this was another Allure Best of um, Beauty winner. Um, it has, I think, five different shades here. And I'm just curious to try this um, because I always use a color corrector and um, I don't know, I'm just curious to try it. So normally that is 24, it'll be marked down to 12. Um, and that is definitely a product I've looked at before, but I've never actually purchased. So I think for half off, I will definitely be trying that. And of course on March 17th, the Tarte Maracuja Juicy Lip Balms will be on sale. I am currently wearing the shade Rose uh, in a little kind of sample size. So I demo that later in the video, but uh, I'll definitely be picking up um, a shade or so of those. On Friday, March 18th, the Oma Foundation, um, it's in the Women Founded Brands category. Uh, that will be on sale. Normally it's 39, but it will be half off. Uh, but they don't carry the lighter shades that I think would work for me. So they have T1W and T2W. Uh, those are both for very fair skin with warm undertones. And unfortunately, I just don't think I could pull a warm undertoned um, product off. So the Ulta Beauty website only carries, was it 31 shades maybe? In the uh, description it says they carry 51 shades. So I don't know if there are some shades that are just out of stock. So Ulta says it has 40 colors, but the description says it has 51. And if you go on the Oma Beauty website, I think you can see all the different shades. So just maybe take a look at that, figure out, you know, if one of those shades would work for you, or I mean, even if it's half off, if it's not going to suit you that well, then it's not really a deal, is it? Okay, so I think that is it for week one. So to recap, I think I'm going to be getting the Peach and Lily Spot Treatment, the Live Tinted Stick, the um, Tarte. I think that's it, I think that's three items. Uh, so I think that's all I wanted to cover. So without further ado, let's get into the demo. Okay, so the first product I'm going to use is the MAC Fix Plus. So this can be used as a prep and a finishing uh, mist. This is also their older design, but I think the, the pump and the overall look of this is the same. Uh, so I thought I would just kind of show you the spray. <laughs> if you can see that. Uh, and I also have this uh, mini of the Fix Plus that will be on sale. So this is the original. So maybe I will use this for the prep and then use this one for the finishing spray just so you can kind of see how the, uh, the spray works and everything. So where is, okay. So I'm just going to uh, 
Um, has a really nice pleasant scent. This mist on this little sample is not the best, but we can't really judge the full size by that. Okay, so the next thing before foundation, uh, I'm going to apply my Charlotte Tilbury corrector, which is not uh, on sale. It's not even sold at Ulta, although I heard there was a rumor that Charlotte Tilbury could be coming to Ulta. All right, so for foundation, I'm actually going to use a product that is on sale during week three, and this is the Urban Decay Stay Naked Hydromaniac Tinted Glow Hydrator. And uh, this is supposed to be medium coverage up to 24 hour wear with kombucha filtrate and marula oil. Uh, and I have it in the shade 10 Ultra Fair. Uh, it's been a little while since I've used this, uh, so uh, this will be interesting for me as well. Uh, but because the, I think MAC, uh, this has a skinny little nozzle, uh, but because the MAC Base and Body Foundation is also on sale during that week, I thought I would go ahead and demo this product and then uh, I will kind of refer back to it, I guess, in that video. So it has a very thick consistency as you can see. And I'll go ahead and just start on half my face. I don't know if you can see, I have some, some things to cover up. So we'll see kind of what level of coverage this gives me. And I think I'm just going to use a sponge. I don't think it says on the box anyway, if they recommend either like a sponge, finger, brush, et cetera application. So stick with a sponge. And just for shade reference, uh, this actually, I think maybe it matches my neck. It looks a little light just on my face, which is kind of saying something given how fair I am and the way that a lot of foundations run. I'm not, this might be the lightest shade, I'm not sure. Um, blended in really nicely. So that is the side with the product and that is without. I don't know what is going on right there. I feel like it's blemish that's brewing or something. Okay, so let's go ahead and take it on the other side. I might need a little bit more product. So I think this is the first time this product has been in the sale. Uh, a couple years in a row or sales in a row, I guess, since they have spring and fall sales. Uh, it was the Estee Lauder Futurist. But I think this is a first for this product. I don't have the it Cosmetics Illumination CC Cream or whatever, uh, which is also going to be on sale. So I think this has like a really nice finish. Like I said, I know I've used this before, but it's been a while. You can still see a little bit peeking through, but it definitely helped take some of the redness away. Just trying to decide how much I like the shade. Again, this is 10 Ultra Fair. So if you don't want to wait for week three, uh, I think Urban Decay currently has 30% off their website, which obviously isn't as good a sale. But for example, if this is your favorite foundation and you desperately need a backup, uh, so this retails for $29 normally, so it will be $14.50. I think already it was a pretty good price and $14.50 is basically drugstore pricing these days. Okay, so yeah, so 10 it looks like is the lightest shade. It's ultra fair neutral. 20 is fair neutral. It promises 30% more hydrated skin and a glowy finish. Buildable medium coverage in between a tinted moisturizer and foundation. Looks like your real skin with an added healthy glow that stays fresh and wears up to 24 hours. Goes great with all skin types, even oily, and is non-comedogenic. It says it's supposed to minimize pores and imperfections with a smooth blurring effect while evening skin tone and texture. And this product is vegan and cruelty free. Yeah, so okay, so on the Ulta website it says to apply it with your fingers and blend outwards. For extra coverage, add more product and diffuse with a brush. Okay. 
So what I was gonna say is the finish on this reminds me a bit of the Kosas foundation, which I tried out not too long ago. Uh, and if you saw that video, you'll know that this shade was not great for me. Yeah, so this was shade very light, cool 120. So it was supposed to be very light with pink undertones. Uh, I have thought about getting the lightest shade during the Sephora sale which I think also leans a little yellow. Urban Decay is describing the first three shades anyway as being neutral. So maybe I'll just swatch a little bit of this Urban Decay next to the Kosas. Um, I haven't done any kind of wear test of this product. But finish wise and the way that it's sitting on the skin does remind me a bit of the Kosas, which is interesting. Okay, so I think the Urban Decay is a lot thicker. So there you see on the back of my hand, the Kosas is running down and that is the shade 120. The Urban Decay is not going anywhere. So that is a cool shade from Kosas versus a neutral shade from Urban Decay. I feel like now that the Urban Decay has been on for a little bit, I feel like maybe as it's setting, it is getting a little bit darker. So it's not quite as like ghostly as it looked when it first went on. I don't really have any like conclusions to share with you right now. It's just kind of, I don't know, what I'm experiencing in real time here. Okay, so for concealer, I'm going to use the Tarte Ultra Creamy. I have this in the shade 8B, which is porcelain beige. Uh, this will be on sale during week two, but I believe this is the only concealer that's going to be in the 21 Days of Beauty, so I thought I would just go ahead and use it. Hopefully, as I said in the intro, I do plan on doing three videos like this, so each week there will be a video that specifically features the products that are going to be on sale during the coming week. But in cases where, like this one, I didn't have a foundation that was gonna be on sale this week, and there's a week where there are multiple foundations on sale, I try to kind of spread things out a little bit so that I can do kind of like one complete face. And next week, for example, the Nabla uh, eyeshadow palettes are going to be on sale, so I'm going to be pulling in one of those palettes today so I can show you as many uh, different products that I have um, that are going to be on sale. So that is a super brightening uh, concealer, as you can tell. Uh, I do have a video comparing the original Shape Tape to the Ultra Creamy. Uh, which I will link for you. Um, so I'm just going to set my under eyes using the e.l.f. Small Tapered Brush and the By Terry uh, Hydro Powder. I just have this little travel size and for like setting under eyes and stuff it I think works out pretty well. Um, so I think e.l.f. might have discontinued this brush which kind of shocks me because I always thought it was like a pretty popular one like I think Emily Noel and people have talked about it sorry I didn't mean to flick you off so I don't really know what's going on with that um, okay so I just wanted to set the under eyes uh, I'll probably come back later to set the face okay so let's do some brows so not surprisingly the ABH brow is is on sale once again uh, I have it in the shade Hope. Yeah. So this has a really fine point on one end and a spoolie on the other, if you've never seen this product before. And I am not a big kind of brow pencil person. So I only show you this just to show you, you know, it's not like one of my holy grail products or anything, but, um, and you can't really see my hair too well right now because it's wet and it's back and everything as far as the color goes I mean and you know I think I've been blessed with pretty decent brows so normally I just kind of stick with 
either a clear brow gel for every day or a tinted one if I want something a little bit more with a little bit more impact. So not a huge difference there. You know, I'm pretty light handed with it. My, uh, I guess, brow hairs tend to be a little bit on the longer side as well. So I might go in with the ABH um, brow gel on top of this. Because usually that's what I want more than anything, is just like the hold. All right, so I'm just going to use the ABH Clear Brow Gel. I think I might actually prefer the Benefit Clear Brow Gel these days, but it was kind of an old, old standby product. Um, I have a lot of like samples and minis of this floating around, so I just tend to keep one of those in my bathroom if I just need a really quick, you know, going out the door type thing. Okay, so next up I'm going to be doing eyes, and like I mentioned, the Nabla palettes will be on sale during week two. Um, so I have two different Nabla palettes here. I have the Side by Side, which is newer, it's not their newest. I don't think Ulta currently is carrying their newest one, so I don't know if they'll get it eventually or not. And then I also have the Dreamy palette. Uh, so that is the Dreamy palette. If you're not familiar with Nabla, they are an Italian uh, makeup brand. So that is what the side-by-side -side, uh, palette looks like. Uh, so I think I'm going to use this palette today, uh, which is the side-by-side -side palette. And first thing I'm going to do is go in with an eye primer. Uh, I have the one from Fenty, which I think is a good one. And Fenty is now sold at Ulta, so... So the first thing I'm going to do is go in to Rarity, which is this off-white shade, I would call it. Uh, and I'm going to use this Sigma Large Fluff Brush and uh, just go over the primer. Make sure everything blends well on top of it. And then uh, I feel compelled to use Half Time in the crease. There's a soccer field not too far from my apartment and it seems like more often than not in you know the spring and the fall the weather's nice. They are playing especially on the weekends and in the evenings which is when I usually film. So hey homage to the uh, soccer players out there. And also what I like to do is um, I set the concealer but uh, I still get creasing underneath, so I like to take a little brush like this. This is the Sonia G Flat Definer, and go into that same halftime transition shade and just run it underneath. So I think next I'm gonna do something a little bit different. Uh, I'm gonna take the classic crease brush from Sonia G and go into this Qism shade, which is like a slate blue gray type color. And take this into the crease. I'm going to take the little mini booster brush and the shade Clan, which is not quite a black. There's another black in the palette, it's more like a charcoal, I think. And I'm just going to put a tiny bit right in the outer corner. All right, and then I'm going to take this Jumbo Blender and go back into that half time and just go around the outer edge again. I should say, I don't have like a clear vision in mind. I'm just kind of playing, going back into that rarity, that like off-white shade right underneath the brow bone. And then I really want to try out this uh, Love Ritual shade. It almost looks kind of like a periwinkle maybe. Okay, so we'll see if this gives me fallout. This is a dry brush, it's the Chikuhoto GSN 9. And Ooh, that's pretty. I think I might just go ahead and take that all the way over the lid. Uh, I'm gonna zoom in. Is this? Nope, I can go in more. 
Um, I struggle a little bit with like figuring out how far to zoom you guys in because I don't want to like cut off half my face, but. This actually applies, I think, pretty well. Just what they, oh yeah, I am getting some fallout. Okay, so if you do get fallout, and I did set underneath my eyes, but not all the way down the cheek. I think that kind of brushed away fairly easily. You know, you can try to tap off your brush. You can wet your brush or wet the product when it's on your brush. Or just try to use your finger. But, you know, if I get fallout and it kind of sweeps away, I'm not too upset. Okay, so I think what I want to do now, uh, I'm gonna take I'm gonna take this magic moment shade and just tap it over the kind of center of the lid. Not sure if I think that adds anything or not. Let's try ray of light, which is that one right there. I think that looks better. You can also just try um, using your highlighter and we'll talk about some highlighters in a minute. Yeah, I like it with this ray of light shade. A little bit better. Just trying to kind of even it up. All right, I'm gonna take this reference number 26 brush and that same ray of light shade and just Put some of this on the inner corner. I wish there were a bit of like an icier shimmer in this palette, but that's just kind of my preference. So, I mean, it's kind of like a like taupey, grungy eye, you know, kind of thing, which I don't hate. I don't know if I would like purposefully recreate this look again, but I think the real kind of star of the show is this um, Love Ritual shade. I mean, the mattes did pretty well and everything, but I think for my preference, I think that's really pretty. Go ahead and swatch Ray of Light, Magic Moment. They feel a little bit drier to me. I don't think they're as like foiled. There are one, two, three, four other metallics. So I'll just go ahead and swatch those for you. So we have Body and Soul, which looks a little bit chunkier. Paradiso, it's really kind of bright gold. Better Society and Cedarwood. So this palette, is normally 39 so it will be half off so a little under is that like 1950 maybe so love ritual they call a cool mirrored taupe and that is a fluid metal cedar wood is also supposed to be a fluid metal and then we have metal foils super mattes body and soul is called a top coat shade with a transparent base and amber peach and pink reflex Dash Celestial, Metal Foil, Super Matte, Wet Top Coat Shade. So um, hopefully that gave you a look at the palette, maybe some inspiration. Okay, so let's talk about the KBD liner. So I should preface this by saying I am not like a liquid eyeliner aficionado or expert, but I will I'll do my best. So I think I might have to do this off camera because I just, I need to kind of get in there and use two hands. So see me back out. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to spare you um, having to watch me apply this, um, but I will do that and be right back. Okay, so I tried to do some little baby wings. Um, I have hooded eyes so that always, you know, is a little bit of a challenge. So this is a little sample, by the way. It's not the full size. Uh, I'm just going to do a line on my hand there so you can see it doesn't bleed or anything, which is really great. Um, this is a 
brush tip applicator, um, which I think I generally prefer. I know a lot of people have kind of a strong preference. And um, it's also pretty easy to both kind of get a very fine line around the eyes and then also kind of be really exact and precise with the, you know, the points or the wings. So uh, yeah, I'm not, you know, an expert or anything, but if you enjoy liquid liner and you haven't tried this one, it might be worth um, trying out at half price. Oh, and I completely forgot to mention that the Beauty Blender, uh, not this one, this is the pro version, but the original Pink Beauty Blender uh, is also going to be in the sale on the first day. I know a lot of people like those, I think they're Shop Masse sponges, um, or like the Paw Paw sponges. There are a lot of different sponges on the market, so I don't think you necessarily have to spend the full retail price of a Beauty Blender is like 20 bucks. Um, so I don't think you need to spend that, but you know, if it's half off, it's $10. And if you've been curious about like the original Beauty Blender or I don't know, you just wanna kind of have a baseline to compare other sponges to, again, it might be worth um, picking up in the sale. Just reapplied my lip oil. I'm doing some lip swatches in a little bit here and my poor lips are going to hate me afterwards. Okay, so the next thing to talk about is going to be the Clinique High Impact Mascara. Let me know if anyone loves this mascara, if it's like their go-to or they've been buying it for years. I'm really curious because uh, obviously this is a sample and I feel like that's usually how this mascara comes into my life. Uh, I don't know that I've ever purchased it. Um, so it has a kind of traditional brush like so. Not too big, which I like because, you know, with my eye shape and everything, it's just a little bit harder. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and apply this to the lower lashes, which honestly, I prefer the Clinique bottom lash for that. It's not transferring all that well. I don't know if this sample is just a little old. Kind of nice in a way because... I don't like it when my bottom lashes are like too kind of goopy. Uh, I just want a little definition because I apply shadow underneath and I just think it looks a little bit more kind of finished that way. So I'm using my Surratt Lash Curlers. Always curl my lashes. And I typically do like to use a waterproof formula to help keep the curl because my lashes tend to be on the straight side. Yeah, so far, <laughs> uh, the name I don't think is justified by the product because it's not giving me a lot of impact. It doesn't seem like it's really building much. So I will um, try to pin a comment. What time is it? It's about seven o'clock, so if I experience any flaking or smudging in the next like three hours or so, this isn't a wear test. I just wanted to show you what it looks like. So it is building, that is two coats. Let me zoom you guys in again. So that is two coats and that is one coat. And you know, having a black liner on does kind of, I think, make the lashes look a little thicker. Okay, so I think I'm gonna leave it there. I do like it better after two coats. I just generally prefer a more uh, volumizing formula as opposed to one that's more like defining or lengthening, I guess. I would say that if you tend to get makeup samples, um, there's a good chance that one of these will come into your life eventually. So I don't know that you need to purchase it to try it if you've been curious about it for some reason. But anyway, I just thought I would go ahead and show it to you. So the next and last uh, categories I have to demo are highlighter and lip products. So I'm going to finish off with like blush, contour, bronzer, that kind of thing. Uh, and I'll be back in a minute. Okay, so now that I have um, some color in my face, I'll quickly tell you what I used. I used the KVD Gel Contour in Fair, Cool 90, uh, and I also used the Rare Beauty bronzer stick in the shade Happy Soul. Uh, I also used the Dior concealer to spot conceal a little bit, uh, and then I set everything with 
the LYS powder in Resilience. Uh, and then finally I used the matte side of this Cover FX blush in Soft Peach, which I'm pretty sure I got in one of the prior Ulta 21 Days of Beauty sales. Uh, this was actually one of the first years in a long while that they haven't had those on sale. Uh, so uh, I guess it's good that they change things up every now and then. Okay, so let's talk about highlighter. So uh, the Ofra highlighters will be 50% off. Uh, so they are regularly around 35. I think there's one that might be closer to 40, uh, but they'll be about $17.50, I think. Uh, so I thought I would swatch the shades that I do have. So I have uh, the shade Pillow Talk, which looks like so. Uh, so these compacts that come in are a bit bulky. Uh, they do have a mirror, which is nice. Um, but the good thing about these is that the pans do pop out. Uh, so if you did want to put them into a magnetic palette for travel or whatnot, uh, you could. Uh, so I'll just show you, for example, this um, Nikki Tutorials collaboration. This is the shade Glazed Donut. Uh, the sticker might be covering it up. Uh, I think it's right in the middle, the hole is. Uh, but you can just take a pin and press it, and the pan should pop out. Uh, and then you have the magnet, and you can see that hole in the bottom there. So uh, that is the pan. The pans don't actually say what the name of the shade is, which is always one of my pet peeves. Um, but, you know. It is what it is. Okay, so this is Glazed Donut. I think I'm gonna swatch all of them on my arm, so I'll just quickly show you what shades I will be featuring, and then I'll show the swatches. Uh, and then I also got this on the Glow Kit. <laughs> After I did that Ipsy by Addison Ray unboxing, uh, I did actually sign up for BoxyCharm Lux because they have a Natasha Denona palette uh, in March that I actually just received today. Uh, and I wanted that. So I signed up and of course I ended up getting, I think the, I think I signed up in February, like late February maybe. And they sent me the winter Lux box in addition to the March. So anyway, so I have this in my collection, but I guess it worked out because now I have additional shades to show you. Uh, so I marked with a wet erase marker the three shades that uh, will be included. The other ones are bronzers or blush kind of bronzer duos. Uh, so the nice thing about this palette actually is that instead of just like a plastic sheet, this is like a little kind of plastic tray that can sit on top. So it's a little bit more, so it's a little bit sturdier. They printed the names of the shades on top. So I'll probably hold on to that. Uh, but I do need to remember what the shades are called. Okay, so it has Blissful, Beverly Hills, and Rodeo Drive. So I'll swatch all of them, and then I'll probably apply one shade to one shade and one shade to the other. Based on my skin tone, it's probably going to be these two, but we'll go ahead and um, swatch them out for you. All right, so from my elbow to my wrist, um, we have... Uh, Glazed Donut, which was a collaboration with Nikki Tutorials. Um, next to it, we have Pillow Talk. Uh, next to that, we have Blissful. And then Rodeo Drive. And then these five are the individual swatches of the Beverly Hills highlighter. And then this one at the end is where I try to, um, try to mix them together. So the thing about the Beverly Hills highlighter, I think that's the one that is more expensive, but you know, you could argue that you're getting more shade options in that particular highlighter pan. Could be good if you are a makeup artist, for example, and you don't want to have to carry too many. So it looks like these two swatches here have bigger pans than the other three. Uh, and arguably, I think that is a pretty universal highlighter. It probably won't work on absolutely everyone. Uh, that one is more 
of a pure white and then you know they have some that are probably more suited for um, dark and medium skin tones okay so like I said I think for my skin tone personally I'm going to stick with the glazed donut and the pillow talk the non Charlotte Tilbury pillow talk uh, product uh, so I'm gonna use my Anastasia a 23 brush and I just washed it this morning but it feels pretty dry okay so going in with glazed donut on my right cheek I really need to purchase the the Wayne Goss brush that um, Britt Clark always uses for highlighter because I feel like sometimes this one just goes in a little bit hard and depending on the look I want you know it might not always be the best best product I'll just go over that a little bit with my blush brush just to see if I can kind of blend that in a little bit but yeah I don't think Ofra is known for being subtle with their highlighter um, so yeah, so this is a really nice shade, I think, and obviously if you watch Nikki tutorials, she is also, I think, pretty fair, so it makes sense that she would create something that um, works well for her. So I think, I think I might have picked up less product with this one. So you can go in lighter. depending on your preference. These are almost a little light, I think, for like the rest of the complexion I have on. I don't know if one of those shades in the uh, Beverly Hills highlighter would have been better, but anyway. Those are the Ofra highlighters. There's a good chance you've already experienced them, but just in case, I thought I would uh, show you some of the different options on my skin tone. Okay, so the last few products here are for lips. And one item that I do plan to purchase additional shades in, uh, this is the Tarte Maracuja Juicy Lip, and I have it in the shade Rose. I think this was like a little sample or travel size. And I think I said in a video before that this reminds me of... Um, the new makeup by Mario lip product. Uh, the thing I don't like about this, I don't know if you'll be able to tell, but it's like a twist. Um, and once you twist up, you can't really twist it back down. So I end up making a mess out of it. But I think the full size has a click type dispenser. So I think that's a little bit, you know, a little bit easier to kind of control. So I'm just trying to take the kind of excess and thread it out on my lip. They also have a new product like this. I don't know if it's like illumination or something. I can't remember, but the thing that's nice about this formula is that it kind of kind of sits on top of your lips, but in a good way. Like if you have any concerns um, about lines in your lips or anything like that, it's really comfortable and it just kind of, you know, blurs everything, kind of fills it in. So really comfortable, obviously not like mask proof or anything, but if that's not a concern, then yeah, I definitely plan to pick up at least one shade of those. Um, I'll have to take a close look. I mean, the thing about Tarte's colors is that there's not a huge difference um, from one shade to the next. So like I said, this is the shade Rose. And then they also have the Mented Semi Matte Lipsticks on sale. So I did the nice kind of hydrating formula first that I'll remove here in a second. Uh, and I have three different lipsticks to swatch, but only one of them is the semi-matte formula. The other two are the matte, uh, but I think they have these shades in the semi-matte formula. So I'll just show those for color more than actual like formula and everything. 
Okay, so I'm not using a lip liner or anything, so forgive sort of the application, but uh, okay, so going into the semi-matte uh, product first. This is in the shade Peach Please. That's what it looks like in the bullet. So it's a nice formula. I'm not sure how well it goes this eye look, but that is Peach Please. And I believe that Mented is a black owned beauty brand. So I think there are a lot of shades in their line that um, are good nude colors for women of color. Um, so if you've had trouble finding a good shade for your skin tone, um, it might be worth taking a look. Okay, so the next shade I have here is, uh, let's take a look at them before I say which one it's going to be. Okay, so we have Nude La La, which looks like that. And this one is Dope Taupe. And this one specifically, it's more of a brown shade. Uh, I think I'm gonna go in with Nude La La first, but uh, this Dope Taupe shade I think was like an Allure Best Of winner for like best nude lipstick or something I want to say um, and I, I don't know if the editor who talked about it like was a woman of color so she was saying how it was a good color for her so you can see the difference between the matte and the semi matte uh, formula I feel like my lips are always just kind of perpetually dry so Again, not the kindest formula for me right now, but. Uh, so this is Nude La La. And the last one, like I mentioned, is Dope Taupe. I'm gonna look like I just ate some chocolate or something. Okay, so Dope Taupe. Okay, so probably not the most flattering on me personally, but again, if you think this would be a good nude color for you, um, it might be worth um, taking a look at. Okay, so I just applied the Tarte product, uh, and yeah, this can be a bit of a mess, so just be careful how much you uh, dispense at any given time. Uh, I also wouldn't recommend <laughs> probably keeping those in a car or anything during the summer because I think um, they will probably melt on you. Okay, so I think the last thing to do here before we wrap it up is to um, use the Fix Plus again. Like I said, I don't think this is a scent that will be on sale, but it is the same mechanism, I guess, so. So it's actually better than I remember. It's not the finest mist, but I've had worse. <laughs> So, uh, so yeah, so if you're a Fix Plus fan, you'll be able to pick that up for half off. All right, guys, so that is going to do it for week one of my demo of the Ulta 21 Days of Beauty products. Uh, I hope you found this interesting. Let me know if anything stood out to you uh, that you plan on picking up uh, or if you think it is a complete snooze fest, uh, at least for week one. Uh, make sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you'll be notified when I upload week two. That should be a day or two before the next week of the sale starts, uh, whatever that is. <laughs> so, uh, so I think that's it. I hope you guys are all doing well and staying safe and I will talk to you soon. Bye.